I have to jump in here, and I'd be remiss me if I didn't mm -hmm. uh, tell you how disappointed I was and the residents were that you weren't on that call. Uh, that was a budget that you primarily put together with uh, the city of Old Health, and you weren't there at that meeting. I expected you to be there. I made several calls to you to try to coordinate uh, this meeting and got no response from you. Uh, I just think it was disrespectful. Well, Councilman, I've, I've got a, I'm sorry, I think it's disrespectful to be doing this publicly, okay? I think, frankly, it's disrespectful okay. to be doing this publicly. Okay. I, I'm going to give you the respect of not engaging on this because I'm there's a lot of facts that you are not aware of. You're going to be okay. very disappointed that you didn't even let me know. I, I think you've That's answered. We can talk about this as personnel. You know, I, I, you know I, Mayor. It's not a public meeting. You're bringing this up, Councilman, okay. attacking me publicly, okay? First of all, uh, I did not, I did email or rather text the mayor and council letting them know that I would be available by my phone at the office because my cell phone was not working uh, and has not been receiving incoming or outgoing calls and intermittently. Number two, a tree fell on my car yesterday, councilman. Okay. My car had to be towed and I had to get a rental before the close of business yesterday. Otherwise it would have been stranded here in the office. I got home and I have no power since yesterday, had to deal with a refrigerator full of spoiled food, no Wi-Fi, and I tried to get back to the office to make it in time and was only able to set up and facilitate that meeting. This is why I'm still here in the office and I'll probably be here until 10, 11 o'clock at night tonight. So I think it's extremely disrespectful that you're attacking me like that without even asking or expressing any concern about what may have happened. A phone call to me would have been nice to give me the heads up. I was not, if, and if the record were to be clarified, you did not ask me to be on this call. You scheduled it without so much as consulting as to my availability or schedule. You scheduled it, did not ask for me to be on there, nor did, did you, you indicate that you wanted me on there. I think that that answers the question. Next, anything else? The administrator has always been on. Let's move forward, please. Let's move forward. Let's move forward. Um, so I live at 84 Branch Avenue. This is Mary Beth Maida. All right. Um, I started by saying I wanted to thank Councilman Ballard for speaking openly to the business administrator regarding his feelings about last night's no show. Um, I felt the same way, Michael, and I'm just really happy that you did it in a, in a professional and courteous and, uh, you know, human way. And you just spoke to the administrator instead of sending off a bunch of nasty leaks to Red Bank Green. But what I really wanted to discuss is um, what uh, uh, Councilman Yassine, who we missed you yesterday, has, and it would, would have been good for you to be there. You're on the Finance Committee. But um, I wanted to talk about the idea that he said about waiting the survey, the garbage survey that we took, because I have enormous concerns about this survey, and I want to share them with you and see if anyone can reply. Um, I reached out to Springfield, where Z worked last, and uh, I opened their contracts, and I learned that they didn't save any money by reducing garbage. Not one cent. It's the same. So I don't know why we spent all of the money that we spent on a survey when we know that regardless of the outcome, we're not going to save any money. This is already proven, and it was proven by the man who was now conducting the survey that we just had. And my concerns with the survey are multiple. Um, for one thing, my understanding is that we sent out about 6,600 postcards when we were encouraging our residents to respond to the census. Yet in the Red Bank Green report, it said that nearly 5,500 cards were sent. So I'd like to know how that number was um, decided upon and why at least 10 neighborhoods that I, as a private citizen, doing my own work, was able to identify all on the west side, did not receive postcards and did not receive notification. And again, when we're talking about waiting this, I think it's really important that council who makes this decision will understand that a lot of people did not receive this survey, that a lot of people were not able to get on the website because there were multiple glitches. And that for a town that is really in a certain amount of financial trouble, as I learned last night on our uh, budget meeting, especially with regard to the amount of money that we're paying on debt service, that we spent money on the design of a postcard, the mailing of a postcard, the counting of a postcard, the um, engagement of a, a web service to do the survey, and the engagement of a phone service to do what seemed to me to be a pretty sophisticated poll. 
because after all, you have to be able to go through all of those numbers and ensure that there's one number per household that's being verified and that the person who's calling in is calling from Red Bank. So I would really like to know how we came to all of these decisions. And I'd also like everybody to know that I asked, I opened all of this information so I didn't have to waste your time, but it's been going on. I think tomorrow will be four days and I haven't heard anything back. Um, and I'm just really curious to know how any of this is in our interests. I think if you ask anybody in town, no one wants one day a week pickup. In the towns where I spoke to people who have one day a week pickup, they experience a lot of vermin, a lot of uh, maggots, a lot of really, really unpleasant experiences in their life. We're paying a lot of money to live here. And I think that it's not unreasonable to expect that if we're not going to save any money, which is proven, that we not engage in a, a waste of time that's spent, how, that, that has incurred how many costs already. I just find it very disappointing to know that we embarked on something that isn't going to net us anything except lesser services for our very expensive tax dollars. And I also regret that tonight we weren't able to introduce and at least go line by line through each budget item that Michael Ballard last night very carefully took the town who actually showed up to listen to it through to explain where all the savings would be. I think that the savings that Michael Ballard presented are worth considering. And I would hope that we would go through a line by line vote on these things. I have a pretty clear feeling based on tonight and the behavior that we've seen so far, how the vote will go. But I really think it's important that the town know how our representatives are voting, what they think is important and where they land. And I would implore the town council more than anything else to reject this idea of one day a week garbage pickup. It will not save us a penny. And anyone who wants to look at the public documents that I've already collected need only contact me. And I look forward to receiving the public documents from Red Bank Green, I mean, excuse me, from Red Bank Borough. I, uh, I, I hope that it doesn't take them seven days because when I called Springfield, they responded in an hour. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, Suzanne Viscomi, 25 Cedar Street. A um, couple things. One, um, I agree with the prior caller, actually myself and a couple of residents I speak to did not receive the postcard. And I think it's kind of disingenuous to send the postcard for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's not environmental friendly because you're wasting paper, ink, mailing it, and then it becomes trash, ironically. Number two, I think the simplest thing and the easiest thing, the most accurate thing you would do is go for a walk. Go drive around real fast town. I did it the other day when I was driving to work and I just looked on Tuesday. I looked at and see how many people have one cans, how many people had two or multiple cans, how many people had trash bags on the ground. And therefore you get an idea of what the demand is. Do it for a few days and you'll get an accurate answer because not for nothing, only 65% of the town answered the census survey where we paid lots of money to get feedback. So did we get accurate feedback and enough feedback? If somebody would just, and I see DPW all the time driving around town. Your response to uh, this meeting, or are we moving on? Well, there are a number of questions and comments, um, Councilman, but after we, we close public comment and then we, you know, again, protocols, comments are done and then council can address whatever they want to address. I'd I, I just like to take a minute to address the comment section because this is the only opportunity residents get to interact with their elected officials. And if you can't have a dialogue here, where is it supposed to occur? At, in a supermarket, uh, as you're walking down the street? I, I just think we need to be more open and responsive to the question that our residents are asking. My opinion. I'm simply stating the protocol of the resolution that's been adopted annually by the mayor and council. And that is pretty typical of every legislative body. Uh, it's public comment. That's what's required by the law, public comment, not public Q and A, but the public always has an opportunity to call you on your cell phone, to email you, to meet you at Borough Hall, to meet anywhere. Um, and again, it's your discretion how you want to respond. 